Hi, we are on our uh, ninth session on how to prepare for job interviews. Today we are going to discuss a critical issue of organizational analysis, especially on P for political aspects with reference to PESTEL2, isn't it? So in terms of political aspects, today's discussion is focusing on the political conditions that are prevailing among the management members. Top management will have its own political issues between one HOD to another HOD. Maybe one level of uh, managers to the next level of managers or the managerial levels to the top management, that is owners or decision makers at the top or even stakeholders. So the relationship between these things, these uh, parties in the administration and management also can turn into politics. So you should know about these things. Otherwise, what will happen? When you join the organization not knowing these things, you will be a party to <laughs> create politics or you will be seriously impacted by the politics created by others. How? One HOD will tell one thing. As you are an innocent, you might be adopting what he says but the another HOD might not like it. You are uh, working under both HODs. So after you do what Mr. X said, Mr. Y may not like it. After you do, Y comes to know and finds that you have obeyed the orders of his enemy. So what will happen? He naturally will start cornering you, will start uh, harassing you, or he might wait for a chance to pull you down or he might wait for a chance to get you out of the organization influencing the top management. These all can happen which you can expect to happen. So it is better to know. You might be asking oh, with all this awareness if I keep on eliminating my organization where will I join? I'm not saying you should eliminate. You should only know. <laughs> At least know what is happening here and there. Because when you are aware and face the situation, the challenge is less. That is why we were discussing about a challenge in SWOT analysis, isn't it? That applies to self uh, um, SWOT analysis. But uh, even organizations can be understood through SWOT that we will be discussing later as a second tool. So SWOT of um, this organization in terms of challenge will help you. That is why help you to what? To at least face the challenge or to at least prepare yourself, be ready for anything that comes in. <laughs> Isn't it? That's why we need to know these aspects. That is the politics that exists with, between the HODs, between the managers, between the top management and the managers or executives. Yes? this, uh, this uh, point of view, you should understand. Why should you know? I have given you an introduction. Now, there are specific issues or reasons for which you should know. First and foremost, it affects the stability. When management uh, representatives, so-called managers, executives, top management are in trouble, always they create politics and some nonsense is going on. What will happen? Any time there may be partitions happening. There may be a group of HODs leaving at a time. The existing HOD is unable to thrive, unable to run the business. So it may in invite a number of issues, which may even affect your productivity, your working environment. Next reason, you will lose your hope not knowing the politics at the management and above level, if you join, after joining, coming to know the number of uh, issues uh, among uh, our HODs, you will lose the hope. Near existence in the organization will be impacted because you lost the hope. They themselves are fighting. When are they going to take care of my welfare? <laughs> will that doubt naturally come or not? Surely it will come. So there you are going to lose your hope. Then we also lose the culture, the professionalism. 
the way in which we have to conduct ourselves is going to be questioned because our hods are not modeling you our hods are always in trouble they are problem creating among themselves and that problem impacts you so the total culture of the organization becomes political then what happens reliability is lost how will you rely on one hod when he has problem with other hod how will you know you are you the whom uh, on which you keep your reliability is a wise strong person or he is already a weaker one who doesn't have voice or uh, comparing to all the other hods so these all issues will prick your mind and your mental health is also affected then at last what happens the mere unity that is required in an organization will be lost now coming to the question again how to know all these things being not joined the organization being a public representative how to know about these issues that are happening in the organization one source which you already know word of mouth your friends and relatives those who are existing in the organization will share the everyday affairs or at least if they are not in uh, sharing everyday terms you can at least check with them before joining or before taking any decision to, uh, about the particular organization that's possible no and second these are some issues also coming on the limelight the issues between the management representatives the issues between management and top management that means managers or executives and top management so these issues to some extent they'll be mitigated internally but it goes beyond the limit of tolerance or public uh, tolerance or stakeholder tolerance it will come on line right so it will come in publications of newspaper so these are some sources by which you can get to know what is the management between management political condition of an organization with this let me close today still we have uh, discussions on political analysis let us do it in the next session next further continuing session bye